Manchester United's first team recruitment this summer had a strong Dutch influence, either through Dutch personnel or the agency SEG brokering deals. But while United stuck to what they knew, their opponents, Brighton, had a diverse mix of nationalities on the field, with match winners from Germany, Brazil, and even a local player from Longsight. Now, Eric Ten Hag, the United manager, finds himself at the lowest point of his 14-month tenure. The signings he made will either lift him up the Premier League table or become the source of criticism. Rasmus Hodgland and Sofian Amrabat, represented by the Dutch-owned agency SEG, are expected to salvage Ten Hag's season. Hodgland needs to deliver goals when fit, while Amrabat will join forces with Case Miro to provide power in midfield. Ten Hag's other two major signings, Andre Onana and Mason Mount, also have connections to the Eredivisie. Onana played under Ten Hag at Ajax, while Mount faced both of them on loan at Vitesse Arnhem from Chelsea. United has indeed backed their manager by addressing his primary areas of concern. But the gap between United and teams like Brighton is evident. Brighton's recruitment has a global scope, with players from Paraguay, Luiz, East Sussex, Ecuador, and Spain. They also have players who were once free agents, like Danny Welbeck. German midfielder Pascal Gross and Brazil forward Joao Pedro have also made an impact. United would love to have such a successful football ecosystem. Unfortunately, United is a club where career progression is limited. Players either get released or sold to smaller clubs. The last player to be sold at the peak of their powers was Cristiano Ronaldo in 2009. Rasmus Hodgland will need to break this trend and become a striker that top clubs are willing to break the bank for. The key to getting Ten Hag out of his current predicament lies in United's summer signings. Hodgland's fitness is crucial, as he is currently managing a back injury. The centre-back position is also a concern, with Lisandro Martinez's poor form and the potential inclusion of Harry Maguire. In the upcoming match against Bayern Munich, Ten Hag will have to find a solution to contain the threat of Harry Kane. Ten Hag's formation against Brighton tried to accommodate all his senior players but it was picked apart by the opposition. With Jadon Sancho out of favor, there is an opportunity for Facundo Palistri or Alejandro Garnacho to provide width. Amrabat and Case Miro will be crucial in gaining control of the midfield, with Amrabat needing to quickly adjust to the pace of the Premier League after his time in Italy. Ten Hag returns to Bayern this week, where he previously coached the second-string team. It could have been a glorious return, but instead, he faces a team in crisis. Will Ten Hag signings be enough to turn the tide for Manchester United? Only time will tell.